Now we are going to discuss about inverse matrices. If A and B are two square matrices such that A multiplied with B equals to B multiplied with A equals to I, where I is identity matrix, then B is the inverse of A and A is the inverse of B. The inverse of A is denoted by this symbol. There are two methods to obtain inverse of matrices. First, by using a join method. And second, by using the property of AB equals to KI. Finding inverse by using a join method. The inverse of a matrix A is donated by A inverse equal to 1 over determinant of A times with adjoint A given that the determinant A must not equal to 0 because you cannot divide anything with 0. Do you understand that everyone? One more thing that you need to remember is A inverse is not 1 over A. Please remember that. Now, we go to the properties. If the determinant A is not equal to 0, so A is a non-singular matrix, meaning that inverse matrix exists. If the determinant A is equal to 0, A is a singular matrix. So, inverse matrix does not exist. Now, we go to the explanation on what is adjoint matrix. Adjoint matrix is, let's see, equal to Cij. Be the cofactor matrix of A. You have learned before the cofactor matrix. A join of matrix A is defined as the transpose of the cofactor matrix that is like this. A join we write it as ADJ capital A that particular matrix and then in the same time we can also write it as capital C power of T or cofactor transpose okay, we look to the example the first example given matrix A 1 2 3 T 2 4 1 1 3 find the adjoint A so what we need to find is first find the cofactor of A, the matrix cofactor. So I write the, in the matrix form like this. Okay. Now you have learned before this what is matrix cofactor. You take each element, for example, for the first element, 1. You close the first row and the first column and then you should get the determinant there for A, D and B, C there. So here is 2, 4, 1, 3 and then for it here. 3, 4, 1, 3. 3, 2, 1, 1. And then we move to the second row. 2, 3, 1, 3. 1, 3, 1, 3. 1, 2, 1, 1. Lastly, we 
we go to the last row 2, 3, 2, 4 1, 3, 3, 4 and then 1, 2, 3, 2 then don't forget to put a symbol because we are dealing with cofactor so plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus understand then we solve here by using the formula of determinant ad minus bc Here, the first row should be 2 times 3 minus 4 times 1. So, 6 minus 4. And then, here, negative 9 minus 4. Here, positive 3 minus 2. For the second row, negative 6 minus 3. Positive 3 minus 3. Negative 1 minus 2. Okay. And then for the last row, positive 8 minus 6. Negative 4 minus 9. And then plus 2 minus 6. Then last, we will get a matrix of cofactor. 2, negative 5. 1 negative 3 0 1 2 5 negative 4 okay do you understand how to get a matrix of cofactor first all right if you understand now we go to the next step which is to find the adjoint as you have learned that adjoint a is the matrix of cofactor a that we transpose so, which is, is a 2, negative 5, 1, negative 3, 0, 1, and 2, 5, negative 4. We transpose. So, adjoint A is 2, negative 3, 2, negative 5, 0, 5, and 1, 1, negative 4. That's all. Do you understand how to get an adjoint? Alright, for finding inverse of 2 by 2 matrix, let's say capital A, which is the matrix A, is a 2 by 2 matrix, A, B, C, D, then the A inverse is given by the formula of 1 over A, D minus B, C times with yeah, the row 1, small d, negative B, and the row 2 is negative C and A. We go to the example, find the inverse for a three one five four so by using the formula the a inverse should be one over a d minus b c d negative b negative b negative c and a then so a d minus b c will be one over three times four minus five times one times it with 4, negative 1, negative 5, and 3. Understand? And then we proceed 1 over 12 minus 5 times 4, negative 1, negative 5, and 3. And what will happen, it should be 1 over 7, 4, negative 1, negative 5, and 3. And lastly, you need to multiply all the elements in the matrix with the figure in front here. So it will be 4 over 7, negative 1 over 7, negative 5 over 7, and 3 over 7. That's how you get the inverse of matrix A. For example, 3 show that a 2 negative 4 negative 1 2 has no inverse so how do we show a matrix has no inverse 
is by using the formula of inverse as you can see the formula for a inverse for 2 by 2 is 1 over ad minus bc d negative b negative c and a ad minus bc is actually the determinant of matrix a so how do you know a matrix has no inverse is when the value here is equal to 0 because 1 over 0 is not exist so for this question how do you show matrix A has no inverse by proving that the determinant you get 0 so there is no inverse in this matrix